relay pumping is done to boost the pressure and volume, especially if you are going to be pumping uh, over a long distance. So due to friction loss, uh, you end up with very little pressure and volume at the end of your line. So to boost that volume and pressure, uh, then we use the system where a pump is placed near the, uh, the, 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 the water source, which is how it looks. We're going to draft water from the pool and we're going to relay it into the fire engine and then the fire engine is going to be basically our firefighting pump. We're going to have a line running out from your uh, uh, fire pump in the top there, the engine pump, for firefighting. Uh, it is a two-stroke pump which uses uh, a straight petrol, or in other words, clean petrol and uh, two-stroke oil. But both are poured in separate uh, compartments and they mix with each other automatically. The pump is capable of discharging 1,600 liters per minute through two lines, three, the two discharge lines as we have laid them out, as everybody can see. Uh, the pump can actually, as well, uh, relay water to a considerable distance uh, of about uh, 500 meters from the actual source, just to feed the, uh, the, the, the other pumper, which may be in use for firefighting. We're going to run our lines to fill the fire engine, fire engine stand. There's two lines that you see laid out here. We're connected now to the fire engine stand just to show you that this can also replenish the engine should we uh, run out of water uh, while engaging firefighting. Pouring water from the pool into the pump there and we're going to convey it to the fire engine yes. and then the fire engine is going to convey water from its pump to the branch man who will be actually doing the actual firefighting. So it can be used to draft water from the open water source, like a dam, like a, a, a pool or a dam. And uh, we do that using the so-called uh, suction hose. Okay, uh, if we have a hydrant, in other words, that's a pressure-fed kind of supply, then we remove the suction hose, this hose over here, and then we connect this fitting. It's called uh, the adapter on the inlet side of the pump. And then we can, then in that way we will be able to run a line from a pressure fed supply to supply water into our pump, which will then um, impart energy to that water, which it will then be able to uh, relate to a further distance. Uh, uh, should we need pressure, that's what basically the pump is imparting energy and then also to impart that velocity energy and sorry, convert that velocity energy to pressure energy mm -hmm. so that we can be able to uh, put out uh, fire at a distance. So this is the suction strainer that I was referring to. Uh, any foreign matter that can pass through this hole won't be detrimental to your pump. So this is actually capable of keeping out any dirt that might go into your pump. So with our pump we don't suck, we use the term lift water because our atmospheric, the atmospheric pressure uh, does that for us. Okay. So we are not sucking water, but the atmospheric pressure is pushing water into our pump. We can position it any, anywhere, provided the distance allows us, if need be, we might need to bring another pump. If the pressure is not good, pressure and volume is not good, wherever the fire is, would be, then we may have to bring another pump, which would be either a fire engine or a pump like that. We can position a, a pump somewhere else, draft water here, convey it to that pump, boost the pressure and volume to another pump, 
and then from there the same will happen until it, the water reaches the plant. What we've just done now, that was just to demonstrate um, uh, the pressure, how much pressure are we getting from the hydrant, and then as well checking to see uh, what the discharge pressure after the, 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 the water comes from the pump, that how much pressure will it be at the, at the, at the branch main. So it, 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 the pressure that I was only able to attain from the hydrant was two bar. And then the discharge uh, was 3.5 bar, which ended up causing the pump to capitate. So in other words, I ended up demanding more than what my hydrant is supplying. So basically the hydrant pressure is uh, Drawing water from the open source uh, for firefighting as we have demonstrated earlier uh, is the best way and the, and the only way that you can get maximum water and maximum output of which your pump is capable of discharging. Yes, how are you? Yes, yes, there is a house that is, uh, uh, that is on fire in the house of the president. Where? In the house of the president at Gwangamalala near Nyaranya High School. Yeah, name Nyaranya High School at Guangamalala, the house of the president. Can I have your number? My number? Yes. Yeah. It's 072. Yeah, boy, get down. We can get you to take your corner. I'm not playing.